we are going to control who all are going to have access to the site and how we are going to give them that access because now you know anybody who is going to log into the site will need a username and password so first thing is we are going back to our administration here and uh, through this administration you can do a lot of things okay so the first thing is we are going to choose who all will be the members of our site so internal members is system admin or you can choose any other program profiles like a customer support or any of those people as your member for the site for the external user for the customer i'm going to say any user which has a profile of customer community user they are going to be the members of the site okay so i have chosen profile of customer community user you can choose any of these profile from external which is either a customer community login user login plus user so the only difference between customer community plus login user and this login user is they're going to have some additional access additional privileges additional features okay so any user which has a profile of these will be the member of the site now the next thing here is login and registration